I accepted Christ as my personal savior when I was five years old. Uh, sunny summer day, about to have lunch with my mom. Um, she was getting ready to give me a grilled cheese sandwich, and I told her that I wanted to trust Jesus as my savior. Um, she came around the counter, wanted to make sure I was authentic, started asking me questions, um, and we sat and talked for a while, uh, and she uh, figured out that I was sincere in my desire, and I asked Christ to forgive me of my sins and to be my Savior at five years old. This is the moment of salvation, um, but I struggled in high school and into my young adulthood uh, with trying to balance religion, worldly temptations. I attended church regularly as a child and through high school. I was baptized at 13. I was in the youth group, attended FCA, went to church camp, lived in the Christian campus house in college when I attended the University of Missouri Science and Technology. Um, and Chip Ingram said once he had one foot in the world and one foot in religion when he was uh, in college, and I was living that. Um, that describes my walk for years. It was a roller coaster. Um, during my young adult life, there was some church attendance, even a few mission trips in college, uh, getting drawn into party scene, uh, girlfriends. I, I got distracted. Um, through the life, the Holy Spirit was working on my heart, <clears throat> There was guilt and remorse, but the cycle kind of continued. And honestly, it wasn't until I met my wife that God started really making changes in my heart. Um, I didn't want the cycles to continue in my marriage and my family life. I saw a lot of Christian marriages that were couples that were together, um, but they were miserable. And I wanted an authentic marriage, and I knew that God was not going to bless me that without pursuing his will for all areas of my life. Uh, that started regular church attendance and regular Bible studies. Through mentors, fellowship with believers, his word, prayer, change started to really occur. I realized the rules of the Bible were because he cares for me, and he wants the absolute best for me. He's our creator, and the creator knows what's best for the creation. Um, the wisdom and rules in the Bible are not just religious hoop jumping. They're here to help us avoid the consequences and the hurt that come with foolish, selfish decisions. Through an authentic relationship with our Savior comes joy, satisfaction, and one of the greatest things is purpose in this life. Um, I'm human, therefore I battle sin, but I've grown to ask him to identify sin in my life and ask for his power to combat that sin. I'm a sinner that deserves hell, but thank God that Christ has paid the price on the cross for my sins, and only through his grace and his mercy can I experience eternity with my Creator. I'm Dan Billingsley, and that's my testimony.